Hello everyone, I have this week's mutation, worn out welcome. The siege on the Exel Naga Temple has intensified. Iman's strongest creations embolden their minions as they break themselves upon your ramparts, only to rise again. Not only that, but they also attack your fortifications from afar. Endure the assault and keep the temple secure. Temple of the Past co-op mission. First mutation is Just Die. Enemy units are automatically revived upon death. The second is Long Range. Enemy units and structures have increased weapon and vision range. We'll see how far it actually is. Inspiration is the third one. Enemy heroic units increase the attack speed and armor of all enemies within a, within a small range. Possible 185,000 bonus experience by being this on brutal difficulty. And we are going to be doing this with Vorazen again because I am on the Asian server once again, or Asia server once again, doing this a little bit early on a Sunday. Okay, so for mastery skill points and power set 1, we've got Dark Pylon range, power set 2. We've got uh, Shadow Guard Duration and Power Set 3, Initial and Maximum Spear of a Dune Energy. I'm going to be playing with a random player, and we will see how it goes. I may have to do this a couple times. Alright, we are going to be playing with a Mastery Level 39 Carax player. So, we'll definitely be able to get that defense set up, but I don't know how effective Carax's defenses are going to be since the long range of the enemy units so you know it might be a little bit interesting if we go to go up against zerg and there's a ton of zerglings and bane lanes it's not really going to matter <laughs> that that won't be really very harmful against us but if we go up against like a bunch of air units from protoss like maybe tempest that might be really annoying especially if we go up against like carriers too so that might be kind of hard to deal with but we'll see i guess Okay, we're going to work on getting that really strong economy, and hopefully we can get a bunch of... I'm going to be going with a Dark Templar, so hopefully we can get a bunch of them out right away and get some Corsairs, and hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> everything will go smoothly on our first go. Okay, we're going to put a Dark Pylon down right here. And I think I'm going to throw down a forge first, because I think, I'm, yeah, I'm going to start with uh, some shadow cannons instead of going straight for the Dark Templar. So we're going to work on getting this economy nice and strong first before I throw any, down any gas. Okay, I'm just going to wait for enough energy and I'll spawn another Dark Pylon right here and build some Photon Cannons at it. Or warp in, that is. Okay, we'll put one right here. And I'll put a photon cannon there. And a photon cannon right there. Okay. Go back to our home base. And I'm going to throw down our first assimilator. And throw down a gateway. Okay, so far, so good. I'm going to get these guys, uh, I'm going to use the shift click and get these guys to attack both of these rocks here. Without having to pay attention to them. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I completely forgot about orbital assimilators. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, what a mistake that was. So, I made a mistake. You have automatically harvest, or automatic harvesting... Uh, assimilators, so I should have just built them right away. Oh well, happens. At least we have really good mineral income right now. And I'll be able to build our expansion nexus right away, because we have so many minerals. Okay, I will throw down a cybernetics core. As soon as that's ready, I'm going to throw down uh, some, or not some, but I'm going to throw down a twilight council. And then as soon as we have that, we'll get that dark shrine going. Okay. I spent some of those minerals to build some photon cannons, but we're going to save up just for a second here and get our expansion down. Are there not as many mineral patches here? One, two, three, four, five. Unless this is a double one. What the heck? Did they reduce the number of minerals at our expansion? That's kind of strange. Alright, looks like our teammate has that handled. Okay, and I'm going to throw down a... Uh, dark pylon right here from my teammate cloak some of his defenses 
Okay, we'll get all of these guys rallied up here to our expansion, throw down an orbital assimilator here and here, get that auto get uh, Vespine gas harvesting, throw down a Twilight Council. Here, actually, we'll throw it right here and throw down another Photon Cannon. Get some good defense right here. Okay, I'm going to rally both of our Nexuses uh, to the expansion supply line, or mineral line, that is. Okay, I'm going to get Warp Gate researched and get Ground Weapons level 1. And I'm going to... Well... My teammate might be able to handle this. We'll see. Alright, we're going to suck those guys up. Hopefully he blasts them in with one hit. Oh no, he's not focusing. Ah, that, that was a waste. Oh well. Okay, I think his uh, nexus is going to be alright. Okay, we're going to build a dark shrine now. Right there. I'm trying to leave some space around this nexus because uh, when you have any cloaked units die, they respawn at your nexus, the closest nexus to them. So I just want to make sure that if any of my units die and respawn, that they don't get trapped in my buildings. That's all I'm trying to do there. I'm going to build some more forges so I can get three upgrades at a time from them. So we have three forges now. Okay, and as soon as the Dark Shrine's ready, we're going to build a ton of Dark Templar and we're going to get all the upgrades for our Dark Templar. Okay, and I am going to spawn another uh, cloaking pylon for them, dark pylon. Oh, they have an overseer. Okay, I think he's doing okay. We're definitely going to help him out pretty soon here. Okay, we'll build a couple of these uh, gateways right here. And I'm going to have to start building some more pylons. Oh, nope, I don't need any more probes. Okay, we'll get armor level 1 and shields level 1 upgrades. Suck these guys into a single area here. Get out a Dark Templar. Our teammate's been doing a good job of soaking up all this early damage, so this definitely has been helpful for us. Okay, we're going to get a Shadow Fury first, Blink, and then Void Stasis in that order. Going to Chrono Boost that and Chrono Boost this Forge. Okay, and we're going to build some more gateways. Amon has summoned the Void Thrasher. It will severely harm the temple for as long as it lives. Here, I'll My time stop these guys. Be ready to and we're going to go out and try to do some damage with one Dark Templar. <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. Okay, throw all of these uh, gateways and slash warp gates into a single hotkey. Here, we'll have this probe just kind of sitting around here. Alright, yeah, this one Dark Templar is going to stop this Void Thrasher. <laughs> oh, I gotta pay attention here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got enemy wave coming in. I'm gonna build a uh, Dark Pylon here. Gotta help this guy out. Okay, gotta build some pylons here, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. Oh jeez. Okay, we gotta go home pretty quick here. Uh, we gotta go home now. <laughs> we are in a little bit of trouble. Here, I'm gonna have to build a bunch of these Dark, Pi or dark Templar. Okay, we should be able to kill this off. I was just a little bit out of place. Oh shoot, they have overseers here. Okay, well, well we have to go in anyways. We'll just have to use our Shadow Fury ability. Okay, we lost them all. And we're gonna suck them all into one area. And just a second here. Hopefully he uses his Orbital Strike. Maybe he doesn't have anything left. Nope, he doesn't. Alright, I think that's game over. <laughs> okay. Alright, this time around we've got a Mastery Level 90 Alarak. This should be fun. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident with a completely maxed out 
ally commander. So I think I think we'll get it. All right, we're going to pump out some probes right from the get-go here. And I'm probably going to invest in early orbital assimilators. Here we'll build a dark pylon right there. Or warp in one. And we'll warp in two orbital assimilators right away. Get that early Vespine gas income because these guys auto harvest for us. As I live, the objective shall survive. And I'm going to build a forge first, so I can get some pylons to take out these rocks for us. Pylons? I mean photon cannons. <laughs> oh, he's taking out the rocks for us! He says okay. <laughs> I don't know. If he, uh, don't know if he's speaking the same language here. Not sure entirely, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna get those orbital simulators down. Actually, we're just gonna save up for our expansion nexus because these rocks are going down right away. Well, that's a huge help to us. That is quite incredible. Okay, our expansion nexus is going down. We're going to throw down the other orbital assimilator here, and we're sending this probe home. Well, actually, we're going to just gather minerals from here. Okay. Got to throw down our cybernetics core as soon as possible. We want to get those Dark Templar out right away. Okay, we have Shadow Guard ready. I don't know if we're going to use it for sure. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to give my teammates some cloaking here. Okay, we are going to build some more gateways. Or warp more gateways in, that is. Get both of our uh, Nexus rallied to our expansion because our main mineral field is already saturated here. Okay, his Alarak will be out in just a second here. He'll be able to take those out no problem. Oh, that's right, they're revived upon death. I forgot about that. Otherwise, they would have died right away. Okay, yeah, we're okay now, though. Yep, so far, so good. Okay, we need to get out Twilight Council, get Ground Weapons Level 1, we're going to get some more pylons out here, okay, and I'm going to build another Dark Pylon right here, or warp one in, and we're going to warp in some more Photon Cannons here for defense and continue our probe construction. He should be able to handle that. That's just all zerglings, not a big deal. Okay, we need to save up for our Dark Shrine now. Okay, get the Dark Shrine going and keep some more probes pumping out. Okay, I'm going to get warp gates also. I'm going to chrono boost this cybernetics core. And we only need two more probes at our expansion. Then we'll be saturated over there. So good, we're sitting real good everywhere. Okay, I'm going to get some more gateways. Because we're going to need to warp in a lot more stuff. Hybrid detected. Marking location now. Amon has sent his and I'm also going to chrono boost this dark shrine. And we're going to get shadow fury first and then void stasis and then blink I think that, that order will do well okay we'll get another photon cannon here okay I'm going to get these guys turned into warp gates okay 
Okay, and... Okay, we're gonna get some Dark Templar out now. Okay, we'll just put another Dark Pylon right here. Okay, first hybrid is dead. Oh, yep, we don't need any more probes. I shouldn't be constructing anymore right now. Don't want to soak up that supply if we don't have to. Get uh, shields level 1. I'm going to get two more forge forges uh, just because I want to be able to get all the upgrades really quickly. Turn these guys into warp gates. We're going to get some more Dark Templar while we're at it. What the heck? These not working for some reason. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. And uh, luckily, since we have uh, cloaked units and we're playing as Vorazun, our cloaked units respawn upon death. Only once every 60 seconds, but we have respawning units just like the enemy units do because of the mutation, so that should be pretty helpful. Okay, we're going to get some more gateways slash warp gates out here. Oh, and we don't want to lose any of these guys. The Void Thrasher. This guy's going down so quick. Holy cow. Okay. I'm going to send him home. Actually, I am going to recall these guys because we can do that with these awesome Dark Pylons. Love that ability. Finally started using it recently. <laughs> it took me a while to start doing that. Okay, we're going to get another Dark Pylon right here. And I'm going to get some more gateways out. I want to be able to warp in a ton of stuff. Okay, this is going to be a little hard right here, but we do have Time Stop available. I'm going to save it initially. These guys are probably going to go straight into our main. That's going to kind of suck. Oh, geez. They're disabled because of that blinding cloud. Ah, oh, shoot. I really don't want them to go straight into that. Scourge. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is nasty. Okay, we need to put some extra stuff up. Otherwise, those Scourge will make us lose. Holy cow. That was so much damage. Okay, we're going to get our armor upgrades and ground weapons level 2 and shields level 2. Okay. These guys are already... Oh, nope, they weren't. Okay, we're going to turn them all into warp gates. And we're going to get some more Dark Templar here. We might have to use Time Stop here. Baneling's really nasty. But I think we'll win this out. And we've got units getting revived, so that's good. Okay, we'll keep those guys in the back. Okay, nasty hybrid. We'll be able to kill him right away, though. We've got super strong Dark Templar. Oh, gotta turn these guys into warp gates as well. Okay, and we're gonna get our blank ability. I might actually get some Archon. Okay, well, you know what? My Archon are really expensive. I'll probably just get Stalkers instead. We'll do... Well, no, no, I'm supposed to get in Corsair. What am I doing? Yeah, Corsair is the perfect combo with uh, with Dark Templar. Oh, well, I'll have these guys. Oh, my gosh, that's so much damage. I need these Stalkers to kill those Scorch really badly. Please kill them. Oh, my gosh, they... Oh, jeez, it's so much damage. Okay. Uh, that's so bad. Yeah, we need at least something to distract these guys. We need some type of air units out here. So I'm going to get two starports or stargates out. Okay, we'll get some more photon cannons built here. I'm just going to build some uh, stalkers for now because that's what we have. We're going to use time stop. I don't want those scorch to hit our scorch to hit our main uh, temple. Holy cow, Scourge was probably the worst thing that we could run into at this moment. Yeah, I just need at least some type of air units just to distract right now. Uh, <laughs> if we don't have anything to distract those Scourge, that's it. Okay, we're going to build pylons all around. Uh, yeah, I wish I had my Corsairs a little bit sooner. I wasn't thinking about that. Forgot. Okay, we'll get ground weapons level 3 as soon as we have enough minerals. Okay, we're going to suck these guys all into a black hole here, try and kill them off really quick. Oh, and I believe we need, ah, oh, shoot, I forgot what they're called. Uh, 
I'll remember in a second here. Yeah, we need oracles for detection, and we'll get some Corsairs out here. Okay, I'm going to send my guys out here, kill this Void Thrasher. We do not have a lot of health points because of those Scourge. Okay, I'm going to Chrono Boost both of these guys, actually, because we need air units out ASAP, and we'll get shields and ground weapons level 3. Get my Stalkers out of that fire. This Void Thrasher should be going down pretty quick here. Okay. Oh, and it respawns. Oh my gosh. Void Thrashers even respawned. That's nasty. Okay, we've got some air units out now, so that's a start. We're going to get some photon cannons out. I need to get a fleet beacon right away. So at least these guys should distract. That's what I'm hoping for. They should distract the Scourge. We just need something, something to at least stop those Scourge from hitting our temple. Okay, just gonna kind of run him away if we can. Yes, it's kind of ah oh, shoot. Okay, well at least we distracted the majority of them. Okay, yeah, I think the scourge are gone. Okay, we gotta keep on getting these guys out here. Need more oracles and corsairs. I'm gonna build. We need a lot of air units, so that's the that's the only way we're gonna lose right now. I think is by if the air units end up killing us, the scourge. So we've got to work on stopping that. Here, we'll keep this Oracle alive. We need at least at least to have some type of air unit. Okay. Try and focus these guys down. Oh my gosh. Scourge, gotta kill the Scourge. I'm gonna suck these guys up, I think. Okay, we're gonna suck them up. Okay, good. Now they're taking it. Alright, we need some air upgrades. Actually, we want air armor. We want our air units to be beefier. I'm going to get another cybernetics core while we're at it. Let's throw both of these guys into a hotkey. And we got to get a disruption web. And where is it? Oracle, Stealth drive for our oracles. Okay, I'm going to throw down some more photon cannons here. We got to go take out that void thrasher. We're going straight for it. Okay, we're going to pump out some more corsairs. Okay, got it here. Actually, I'm going to keep our air units in the back. Because <laughs> like I was saying, we need them to distract those, those nasty Scourge. Okay, we're going to blink our Dark Templar forward and try to kill this Void Thrasher. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to suck these guys into a black hole. And I think, yep, the Void Thrasher got its second wind. Not what we wanted. Okay, we're going to finish this guy off, get out of there, okay, and we're going to come over here, oh boy, okay, I'm going to have to come over here, okay, and I think we'll use time stop here, yep, time stop's going to be really helpful, get all of these guys into a hotkey, we're going to pump out some more Corsairs, and we're going to get out some more Dark Templar. Okay, we definitely have some air units out now, so that's good. Disruption web ability is going to start doing some work for us. We need to get these guys spread out. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to use our Black Hole ability. Suck up those Scourge. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. Okay, don't die on me, please. No, 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 no. Okay, they're alive still. Okay, get out some more Dark Templar. We're gonna get armor level three for our ground units, air weapons level one, armor level two for our air units. Oh, we need more Vespin gas. Shoot. Okay, oh, I can build more photon cannons, soak up these minerals. Gotta use as much as we can. Oh, no, you don't. We're gonna suck those guys up into a black hole. <laughs> Look at this disruption web craziness. Okay, we, do we have any oracles out? I don't think we have any oracles out, so I need to get a couple more of those guys. Yeah, we don't have any detection, so I've got to move, wait for their photon cannons to come in. Nope, we cannot let those guys hit. Alright, any scourge over here? Nope, no scourge over there. Okay, we've got enough detection over here. Holy cow, this is crazy. This is really crazy right now. 
Okay, I need... I need some Dark Templar over here to kill these guys off. Okay, there's Swarm Host over there. Everything's happening right now. We're still alive though. We're getting armor levels 2 for our air units. Come on, yep, there we go. Are there Scourge? If there's Scourge, we gotta kill him. No, I don't see any Scourge. Okay, we are keeping stuff alive right now. This is good. Okay, I'm gonna get another Dark Pylon right there. Need some more Photon Cannons. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. We need some more Oracles. Okay. I'll soak up some more of this Vesping, or some more of our Excess Minerals with Photon Cannons. Holy cow, and there's Void Thrashers on both sides. Okay, we're going for this one first. Your base is becoming a okay. We got a real strong army here. We're using Time Stop. Oh, jeez, that was so close. That would have been so bad. Okay, we're just going to clear as much of stuff as we can with these uh, units, these Corsairs. Oh, boy, I think those Banelings killed a lot of our stuff. Thank goodness we have the respawn ability with cloaking units. Okay, I need my oracles over here to detect these guys. No, 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 focus down the Void Thrasher. Come on, focus down the Void Thrasher. Focus down the Void Thrasher! It respawns and then it uh, tells my units to stop detecting. Okay, we need to run away. Actually, I do not want to engage that where we are right now. Okay, yep, yeah, we're going to move back and we're going to warp in a bunch of Dark Templar. And some Sentinels to soak up some extra mineral, or soak up the excess minerals we have. Okay, we need to survive here. Use our Black Hole ability. Okay. And we'll use our black hole ability here. Our teammate needs to move forward. We need them to move forward. It's so important right now. Okay, hopefully we can finish off these guys and help our teammate out. Okay, we're moving forward here. Let's go, man. Go, go, go. Okay, we need you guys over here, actually. Come on, we need our teammate to finish off the Void Thrasher. Oh boy. This is intense. Oh, come on. No, 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 no! No! Oh, man. All right, we have a Mastery Level 90 Rainer teammate. And this is the guy I just played with and ended up losing with. <laughs> but we ended up going against Zerg, and the enemy had so many Scourge. And if you don't have enough air units in place, the Scourge goes straight for the temple, and you they do so much damage. They do way more damage than the Void Thrashers do. It's actually ri ridiculous. <laughs> the temple just almost instantly dies by Scourge. And I, I just don't understand, like, how that's fair. <laughs> but yeah, if we go up against uh, Zerg again, we're we're probably going to be in a lot of trouble. So I'm just really hoping we don't get Zerg as an opponent. Okay, we're going to warp in a Dark Pylon here. Strategy I was using last time is Dark Templar and Corsairs, and it worked really well. It's just those darn Scourge were really tough to deal with. But yeah, that's really, really strong strategy. So we're going to go ahead and... Try to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to build a forge first, get a pylon out here, get some photon cannons to take out these rocks for us. Got early gas, so we can get early gas for that uh, uh, upgrades later on, and the, our orbital assimilators automatically harvest Vespine gas for us. So we're just taking advantage of that right now.
Okay. Should have that forge completed in just a second here, and we'll get some some pylons down. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to get our first gateway out in just a second here. We want to get out a Dark Shrine really fast so we can get a lot of Dark Templar out. Need the Dark Templar out right away to kill off the first wave of Void Thrashers and uh, just everything. <laughs> you got to get those units up quick. We'll get Corsairs a little bit later on. Okay, let's start destroying these rocks here. And we'll keep on making probes. I'm just going to rally them to our expansion now. And I'm going to make... Actually, nope. I'm going to save our minerals. Yeah, I'm going to save our minerals for just a second here. Get our nexus. Okay, we do have enough minerals here now. I'm going to build an extra gateway. Got an enemy attack coming for our base. Build our expansion nexus pretty soon here. I'm going to build the cybernex core now. Okay, and in just a second we'll throw down that nexus as soon as these rocks are done for. First wave's coming at us. Okay, we're going to throw down our expansion nexus. And I'm going to throw down a dark pylon for our teammate. Teammate's defenses. Should be enough to take out the first wave. Okay, that's done for. I'm going to get Warp Gate right away, and I'm going to throw down a Twilight Council, and another gateway, I think. Yep. This guy's helping us take out our rocks, which is really nice. Okay, we'll throw down some Orbital Assimilators here, and get that early gas, continue that early gas harvesting. And as soon as our Twilight Council's done, we can build that Dark Shrine, or warp in one. And I think I'm going to suck these guys into a black hole right here. Should be good enough to take them out, hopefully. Okay, our Twilight Council is completed. We're going to warp in a Dark Shrine now. And I'm going to get another Dark Pylon right here. Get some cloaking for us. And get out some more gateways so we can warp in a ton of stuff later on okay we'll get all these warp gates into a single hotkey and we need ground weapons level one and as soon as this is done we'll start building some dark templar and we'll start getting some upgrades from the dark shrine hybrid detected marking location now Okay, we're going to start getting quickly. some of these uh, Dark Templar up to take out this hybrid wave. And we're going to get our Shadow Fury ability starting to upgrade. And we're going to Chrono Boost that and Chrono Boost our Forge. Oh yeah, he's using Vultures. That's so smart. And we're going up against Terran, not Zerg this time. Zerg is nasty to go up against, just ah, oh, so brutal. But yeah, this this should be pretty easy for us to win. Oh, it looks like they don't respawn yet. Yeah, I guess they aren't doing the auto respawn right away. Okay, we're gonna turn all these guys into warp gates. Okay, and we're gonna go get uh, void stasis next. I'll just build an extra probe, or warp in an extra probe. That way I can just use him to build all of our structures. Okay, make some pylons around here. And I'm gonna make two more forge, because I wanna be able to get all of our upgrades at once for our ground units. Okay, we're gonna get shields, level one. And this Void Thrasher is going to go down so fast. And I don't think they respawn in this very first wave. I don't think this guy automatically responds, so this should be pretty easy for us to take out. 
Okay, we're not even going to move our Dark Templar. Yep. Oh, no, he responds. I take it back. <laughs> I guess the first initial waves, don't the units don't respond. At least they didn't. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. It was just kind of weird because it didn't seem like that, that hybrid didn't respond. But maybe that was the second time it had died. I don't know. Anyway, that void, the Void Thrashers all do respond as well, including the units. So got to keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to get armor and weapons. Armor 2 and weapons. Or weapons level 2. Yeah, armor level 1 and weapons. Ground weapons level 2. Okay, get out some more of these warp gates. And we're going to start building stargates for ourselves. Here, I'll build some more pylons over here. Oh, and they don't have any detection yet, so this is going to be real easy to take out. Oh, cloaking is working wonders for us right now. Okay, we'll get blink. And I'm going to get... I'm going to wait on those upgrades right now, actually. Okay, I'm going to get air weapons level 1. I'm going to get another cyber next card because we are going to be getting a ton of air units out. I'm going to throw down another dark pylon right here. We're going to get out some more dark templar. Okay, we'll get these guys turned into warp gates as well. Get shields level 2. And we will take out these hybrid. Oh man, Dark Templar is so good. He really did not need to use that. I think that was excessive, using that Hyperion right then. But, oh well. Okay, I'm gonna build some Stargates over here now. We're gonna build like four so we can get out a ton of Corsair. Oh, I need that guy back on the mineral line. Oh, these mines are wonderful. Shadow Fury is so good, too. Okay, so this is really easy this time. <laughs> I guess if you want to win without any problems at all, just play against Terran. Because <laughs> apparently Terran is not that great with this mutation. Zerg, however, is nasty. Okay, I'm going to put all of these Stargates into a hotkey. Put both Cybernetics Core into a hotkey. Get air armor level 1, get ground weapons level 3, put all of our forge into a hotkey. And I'm going to chrono boost both of our cybernetics supporters. Then let's take them out. Get another dark pylon built here. Gonna help against this enemy wave. Holy cow, guys, kill those siege tanks first. Okay, we'll just go ahead and finish off some of these bunkers while we're at it. Okay, we're going to suck these guys into a black hole and finish them off. They do not have a lot of air units right now. This is working out really well for us. Oh, nope. Okay. Time to regenerate some shields. Those guys took a beating. Does my team have any medics? That would be really helpful. I think it's just using vultures, so probably not. Alright, where is the Void Thrasher at? Okay, we're going to use Time Stop. And we'll go straight for that Void Thrasher as soon as this enemy wave is dead. Okay, we're going to go and take out that Void Thrasher. Okay, we get shields level 3 here. As soon as we have enough Vespin gas, we need 300 gas for that. Okay, we got a ton of shields back, so that's good. These guys have nothing left after the shields are gone, though. Oh, gotta love that Shadow Fury ability. Okay, we'll just kill some of these enemies. Gotta get away from the Marines. Okay, that Void Thrasher is dead. Okay, we're going to get Shields level 3 now. Holy cow, we have a ton of minerals. I need to build... Here, we'll build another Dark Pylon right there. I'm going to build a ton of Photon Cannons, so we have extra defense at the main objective, which we need to protect. So yeah, I'll soak up some of these excess minerals with photon cannons. Centurions would be good too, but they're gonna soak up my supply. And I prefer to use just Dark Templar and Corsairs for my supply. And we're gonna soak these guys up. I do not want to lose those structures. Incoming Shadow Fury. They're about to get taken out. My 
Yeah, his troops are taking a beating. That's no good. Should be able to finish the rest of these guys off, though. Yeah, we got a ton of Corsair coming. This is good. Oh, anyway, and Corsair really don't cost that much gas, which is nice. Here, I need to build some more pylons. Oh, jeez. These hybrids do a lot of damage. And the Corsairs do not. <laughs> okay, we're going to run these guys away. Our photon cannons will help in a second. Okay, we can take these guys out. Oh, those those vulture mines were wonderful. They did wonders for us. Okay, we get some cloaking here. Amon is assailing the temple with a void thrasher. It has to be eliminated. Okay, and I need to get a fleet beacon out so we can get disruption web. And not only that, we can get permanent cloaking for our corsairs. Okay. Oh, those hybrid are so annoying. Okay, we do have good, good production of Corsairs, however, so that's good. I need to keep getting, oh jeez, talk about Raven damage, nasty. Okay, we finished those guys off. Gotta finish off these turrets. Okay, we didn't lose any probes, so that's nice. Okay, I think our teammate has this handled. I don't know why he's running, yeah, I don't know where he's going. I'll take out this main objective, though. Okay, we're going to get Disruption Web and Stealth Drive for our Corsairs. Okay. Okay, and time for time stop. Hybrid Behemoth is out, and a bunch of Siege Tanks are in Siege Mode. Time to use time stop. <laughs> a lot of stuff that will kill us really fast. Oh yeah, Shadow Fury ability activated. Took everything out. Sweet! This is working out really well. Okay, we gotta finish off this hybrid here. And time to go back. Here. I want all my units right here. We're gonna recall right now. Okay, we used the recall ability. And we didn't have to because our teammate took off then. Oh, nope, there's another wave. Glad we used it. Disruption web incoming. Oh no, oh no. We don't want that siege fire. Had to black hole those guys. That would have been really bad. Okay, we're gonna get a bunch more of these Corsairs out. We're, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build Sentinels. We need to soak up some of these minerals. Yeah, photon cannons are great, but like uh, I do need to get some more army. So we'll, we'll soak it up. And where is my loose probe? Okay, right there. Okay, I'm gonna build some more photon cannons here. We should gonna build photon cannons everywhere. Okay. Take these guys out, and we are black holing these guys. A lot of stuff here again. Gotta kill those siege tanks really fast. Disruption web ability, so overpowered. Perfect. Okay, do we have... Okay, permanent cloaking's almost there. If we could get some... Let's see, what's it called? Stasis cal... Yeah, stasis wards out from oracles, that would be great. Just don't know if I'm going to be able to get there with my current micro. We'll get air weapons level 2. We have... Okay. Oh, we need armor level 2 for ground units? Holy cow. Took me a while to get that upgrade. Okay. We're going to get some more Dark Templar. Actually, I should be saving my... I should be saving my gas for these Corsairs now. We have enough Dark Templar out for a little while. Okay. I'll get air armor level, what is it, level 3? Okay, we're going to throw down another dark pylon. And we'll kill these units. Okay, we're doing pretty good, I think. We need some more Corsairs out here. Okay, this is where it gets hard. <laughs> the beginning was super easy, but this is where it gets kind of nasty. Let's put this puppy to bed. Okay, stun nearby enemies, intercept nearby enemies. Also increases their movement speed. Okay, um, depends if I want, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how badly I, I want Sentinels, or Centurions, I think they're called, actually. Yeah, Centurions. Sentinels for Karax, I believe it is. Okay, we do, however, really need to kill this Void Thrasher, so I'm just going to go ahead and start moving out. 
Okay, you know what? We, we need some Centurions. Oh, I can rapid fire because I have that set up. Okay, we are rapid firing those guys. And we just lost our entire army. Thank goodness we have cloaking. And it's time for time stop. We cannot lose this right here. We are too far. And it's time to win. We will probably use our Shadow Guard here. It depends. Depends how... If we can take this out or not. I need a lot more Corsairs. Just don't have enough gas this game. Really low on that gas. Okay. This Void Thrasher is going down. Oh boy. And there's a hybrid wave that just spawned. We're going to suck them into a black hole. Gotta delay and just go home. Delay them as long as we can. We're going to suck them up again. Just kill. Just kill it. Just kill it, please. <laughs> please just focus it down. Oh boy. This is nasty. Nope. Nope, we are going home. We just lost all of those. All of those Dark Templar. Yeah, we are in trouble. This is not good. Okay. We'll see if we can survive this remaining wave. We just have to survive a minute. And we have to kill this enemy wave off. Well, we've got our Disruption Web ability helping us out now, so that is good. These Corsairs are actually really quite helpful. Okay, we're going to build some more Dark Templar. I don't think I was using my Corsairs earlier. That was probably one of the main reasons we were struggling. Okay, these Photon Cannons are doing work for us. I'm glad we placed them down for defense. Okay, we got to get some more Centurions out. Finish off these Siege Tanks. I think we're going to survive this just because we had so much health left. Holy cow. Okay. Yep, we got to move over that way. Four seconds. Three seconds. Oh my gosh, we're going to make it. Yes! We did it! <laughs> that got really, really intense towards the end. Holy cow. <laughs> but I think Vorazun and Raynor are a great combo. So I said it was easy earlier on. I take that back. <laughs> That got really nasty at the end because of Thors, and I think they had... Did they have battle cruisers? I don't know. But they had a lot of Thors and siege tanks, and that was nuts. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> but we got three levels off of it. That was awesome. And, you know, we beat it. <laughs> it took me, I think, four tries overall. Yeah, I think this took me about four tries to get it. But yeah, uh, my suggestion is... I would suggest to use Vorazun. Worked out really well. Make sure you use the Dark Templar and Corsair strategy, and make sure to get the Disruption Web ability for your Corsairs, and get the permanent cloaking for your Corsairs. That way, when all of your units die, you'll be able to respawn them once every 60 seconds. And I believe all cloaked units also get a damage increase when you're playing as Vorazin. So that's another huge plus. And then make sure to have the uh, Dark Pylon increased range so that you can have more stuff cloaked and that's going to save your structures and your probes and more of your units and then also use your recall ability or i think it's recall from your dark pylons and then you'll be able to you know move your units around more quickly so that'll be really helpful and uh yeah that's the majority of the suggestions i have oh one more thing if you're playing against zerg don't play against zerg <laughs> you'll probably lose because of scourge they go straight for the temple it's really nasty unless you're going to full air army but I would advise against it. Okay, that's all I have for everyone. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to see more weekly mutation playthroughs slash walkthroughs, make sure to leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next